Ernest from Austria. Dear Pastor Chris, I would like to know what I can do to find favor from the Lord and also how to grow in divine favor. In St. John's Gospel, chapter 1, the 17th verse says, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Jesus has already brought grace and truth, truth about God, reality. The law came by Moses, but grace and truth. Grace is God's favor bestowed upon you. That grace has come. That favor has come. You don't need to pray to the Lord to give you favor now. You don't need to ask him for any favor now. You don't need to find favor from God now. He's already made it available. Christ has brought it. That is the gospel. That's what it's all about. When we say we're preaching the gospel, we're saying that the grace of God has now been extended to man, extended to everybody. You don't need to ask him for any favor now. He's brought you all the favor because he's brought you his grace. Now, in 2 Timothy chapter 2, from verse 1, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Be strong in the grace. That means take advantage of the grace that is in Christ Jesus. That's what he's saying. Take advantage of the grace. The grace has come. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Let me read you one more. Galatians chapter 2 from verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Verse 21. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. He says, I do not frustrate, make ineffective the grace of God. See, he says, I, I don't make it ineffective. I take advantage of it. So that's what you're supposed to do. Now, what you have done so far in your life is to make the grace of God, the favor of God that has been bestowed on you, ineffective. You haven't acted on it. So as far as your personal life is concerned, you have frustrated the grace of God in your life. So you have to change things now and take advantage of it. First, declare it, say by yourself, the favor of God is directed toward me. I have God's favor. I will walk in God's favor. I have God's favor today. And I'm living in it now. You must say it. You see, the saying part of life is so important. Salvation comes through the saying. You see, in Romans chapter 10 verse 9, the Bible says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes. Man believes on the righteousness. And with the mouth... Confession is made unto salvation. That means with your mouth, what you say about that salvation will catapult you into the realm of its manifestation. So the same thing happens here in the grace of God. You must say it. First, you believe it because I read it to you here. You've read it now. You believed it. After believing it in your heart that the grace of God now belongs to you, you must say it. You must say, I have the grace of God. I live in the grace of God. God's favor belongs to me and I'll function in it today. You've got to say it. And when you say it, you activate it. It comes alive in your spirit. And from then on, you find yourself enjoying the grace and the favor of God. That's how it works.